Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video. I am Tisha Mahar and today I want to talk to you guys about supplements. I've been getting so much feedback from you guys and everybody seems quite confused about what to take and what not to take. So today I really hope that I can simplify this for you at least a little bit. So when it comes to supplements, the first thing I want to stress is that your supplements should not be replacing a healthy, whole foods, unprocessed diet. In the real, or in an ideal world, um, we would actually get all of the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants, everything that we needed from our food and from our food alone. But because we live in the real world, um, you know, we're busy, we're traveling, we're grabbing things on the go, we're not focusing on, you know, are we getting enough of this and that every single day? We are perhaps, you know, maybe we can't afford organic food and so we're not getting the good quality food that has the richest amounts of nutrients. So for whatever reasons, people have nutritional gaps. And so the, the supplements should be there to fill those gaps, but not to replace a healthy diet. So first, always focus on your diet. Make sure you're consuming about 95% of your food from whole sources and yeah, do the best you can to eat organic, that kind of thing. Now beyond that, when it comes to supplements, the other thing I just want to mention before I get into my recommendations is that sometimes people are following specific diets like an elimination diet for allergy reasons or a low carb diet for whatever reason. And if you are following a specific diet, you may require extra supplementation because perhaps you've eliminated like an entire you know, food group or two or five or an entire macronutrient or something. And these things are going to make you more susceptible to deficiencies. So if that's the case, you may need more supplements. Also, let's say you have like an adrenal issue going on or thyroid dysfunction or a blood sugar problem or diabetes or hypertension or whatever. If you have a health condition, you might also require extra supplementation until you balance out whatever is going on there. So these are cases, like everything guys, you always want to individualize your plan. Whether it's your diet plan, your supplement plan, your exercise plan, everything. There's no one size fits all. But that said, I did promise you that I would simplify this for you. So. What I'm going to suggest is three things that would be great for everyone to take who is in an otherwise good state of health, who's following a pretty balanced whole foods diet and just wants to fill those gaps. Okay, so this is for general purposes, the three things that I think would be great for everybody to take. Number one is an omega-3 supplement. We tend to get a lot of omega-6 and a lot of omega-9 in our diet, but not enough omega-3. For that reason, it's really important to increase your intake of omega-3. If you don't, you could wind up with a lot of inflammation in your body. Omega-3 is also critical for brain health and mood, so make sure you take an omega-3. If you're vegetarian or vegan, you can go with a, an algae-based omega-3. If you're not, source out a good omega-3 from fish oil. The second thing I recommend for everyone to take is vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiencies are rampant these days. And vitamin D is also critical for brain and mood and also to your thyroid. And thyroid issues are also super rampant right now. So we want to make sure we're getting enough omega, uh, omega D, <laughs> vitamin D, especially also if we live in cool climates. We are, you know, not getting the sunshine half of the year. And that also puts us at risk. So I recommend everybody take 1,000 to 2,000 IUDs of vitamin D in the D3 form every single day. The third thing that
that I think everyone in an overall state of health should take to prevent deficiencies or health problems is a multivitamin. And this is again because we're just winding up with too many gaps and a good multivitamin will help to fill those gaps. And they can go, a multivitamin can really go a long way in this regard. Multivitamins will also contain vitamin D, but again, not usually in enough of a quantity. So I still recommend you take the vitamin D on top of it. Sometimes multivitamins also have omega-3s in them, but usually the amount is very small or not at all. So those things should still be taken in addition. But the multivitamin will help with so many other things. It'll give you some iron, some zinc, some selenium, and all these things people tend to fall at least a little short in each day. When it comes to choosing a multivitamin, I am personally a huge fan of whole foods based multivitamins. The reason for that is that they contain all the synergistic compounds that are needed in order for you to properly absorb and assimilate the nutrients. They have all of their essential cofactors still intact because the vitamin has come from a whole food source. So I'm a huge fan of these. You don't have to go that approach. I've seen people have good results from taking well-formulated, good quality um, synthetic multivitamins, but there's a lot of crap out there, and there's a lot of vitamins that are full of fillers and even toxins, and so I really recommend you source out a good multivitamin that is whole foods based. I have one more thing to mention. Whole food vitamins will have B12 in them. If you are vegetarian or vegan, it's a really good idea to add additional B12, just like you're adding the additional vitamin D. So the vegetarians and vegans actually will wind up with four things that they're taking. The three, the omega-3, the vitamin D, the whole foods multi, and B12 in about 1,000 micrograms per day. Um, really important. Omega uh, B12 is in some vegan vegetarian sources, but people tend not to take enough of those in each day to really maintain their requirements. Sometimes vegetarians and vegans are totally fine for like five years, even 10 years, but then those levels do tend to get low. I've seen it too often, you guys. So I really recommend that everyone take those three things that the veggies and the vegans out there take those four things. And again, if you're struggling with a specific condition, I really recommend you consult with your doctor or, if, or your nutritionist. If you want to, I could perhaps be that person for you. And really customize a plan that's, you know, amazing for you. Just to give you another example, I'm somebody who I need to take magnesium every single day in order to feel my best. I, you know, I think it's just because I was prone to a lot of stress in my life. I'm only 33, but I had a lot of stress. And I think because of that, my levels of magnesium have just become too depleted. My nervous system is super sensitive. I need the magnesium every day. That's not something that necessarily everyone will need, but again, Sometimes we need to customize things a little bit further in order to really feel our absolute best. So keep that all in mind, you guys. But I hope it, this still at least simplified things for you, at least down to three things. If you feel pretty good and you just want to make sure, you know, that you're, you're filling those gaps, those three things will really serve you well. Thank you as always for watching. If you want to follow me, Join my group on Facebook, Tisha's Group. You can just search it in the search bar, request to join. There's going to be lots of awesome things happening in the group in the new year. I'm going to be making lots of important announcements, and um, it'll keep you up to date. If you want to follow my website, it's www.tishamahar.com. And you can book a consult with me at any time. I travel a lot for the work that I do. I do private nutrition and yoga for 
royal families in um, the Middle East, but um, currently that's what I'm doing anyways. But um, even still, I do consult all the time from my various hotel rooms that I'm in. So I'm always available for that. I truly live for this work and I would love to work with you if you feel you need a little extra help in terms of your diet, in terms of your nutrition. Um, yeah, have a great week you guys and um, stay well. Talk to you soon. Bye.